taking up this subject in the third part of the strong delusion that is happening in our world today, lies and deception, the likes of which we have never seen before. You don't need to strive to find your own identity. You have a new identity that is found and grounded in Christ and what He's done for us at the cross. That should solve all the identity questions. The point of this is to bring to you the understanding that we're living in a time of great delusion. And according to 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2, the Bible speaks to us concerning this strong delusion that will come that God allows to take place in the end time. This strong delusion is defined as the words that mean working in an error. Or in other words, people working after an error. In other words, you get wrong information and you spit out wrong information. You, uh, you are sinning and then all you can do is sin. You are thinking evil in your imagination and all you can produce is evil. And that effect in the world closer to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ becomes more and more uh, deceptive and causes people to go into what the Bible calls delusion, the rejection of the gospel of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And eventually, those individuals, because they reject the truth of God's Word, much like the chat GPT article that I just read and uh, the World Economic Forum uh, leader who says that we're going to rewrite the Bible and make it correct, I want you to know it is truth that comes straight from God's Word. It's not truth as I say it or what you say. It's truth because it's God's Word. This is important for you to understand because the rejection of truth only leaves a lie for you to believe. And that's when people begin to accept evil as truth. That's a dangerous thing because you don't know that you've been deceived when you've been deceived. This is important for you to understand. The word delusion here deals with the mind or a confusion of the mind. But when you're speaking of it as uh, a biblical definition of delusion and a strong delusion, not just delusion, but strong delusion. It is when delusion is not just the confusion of the mind, but it is uh, when the mind is actually committed to and addicted to uh, a principle that is wrong or against the Word of God. That's what delusion is. And I can tell you there are many passages of Scripture from Matthew 5, 14 and 2 Corinthians 3, 14 and Ephesians 4 and 18 that speaks of the darkness of the mind or the darkness of the eyes. That has to do with knowledge and the understanding of God's Word. And there are many passages of Scripture that deal with this particular subject. But here's the real important thing that you need to know from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10 that the Bible says this strong delusion would come upon the world in the end time. We're in a time when Christians are gullible toward and the masses are so uh, taken and gullible by what they see and not what the Word of God has to say that many are being deceived and they are influenced by others that are full of a strong delusion. And part of the definition of that from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 is that because, and this is the reason why people are in delusion, is because they did not receive the love of the truth so that they could be saved. They did not love the Word of God and truth and declare it to be absolute truth that they became uh, deceived and delusional. There will be billions that will reap the consequences of a life of rejecting the gospel, rejecting the truth in the near future, and refusing to repent. Why are you saying that, Pastor? Because the United States now, along with many other nations, are caught up in uh, as fast as they possibly can to devise and to pass laws that are directly against the Word of God, and even to celebrate it with their deprived minds. What does that look like? Being deceived uh, is by nature the fact that you don't know that you've been deceived when you've been deceived. It is a fighting when people fight against truth. Not only that, but delusion is to believe a lie, according to 2 Thessalonians, about the coming Antichrist. Remember, Antichrist is not um, against Christ as much as it is another Christ, a substitute for it, something in the place of the genuine truth and Christ. Delusion, according to the scripture there in 2 Thessalonians, will actually come to the point where it worships the Antichrist. A person is so deluded. 
And then the destiny, according to the scripture, of those who are in delusion will eventually be eternal damnation. That's what the Bible says. Once they believe a lie, they will become eternally damned. Many are now considering the Bible to be intolerant, out of date, hate speech. Uh, it has to be changed. It has to be rewritten. And I tell you, my dear friends, the Word of God is absolute and true. And today, it's important that you embrace the Word of God, read the Word of God. In fact, here's the admonition from the psalmist. I will hide the Word of God in my heart that I might not sin against God. This is so important because Satan is on the loose today with lies and deceptions like we've never seen before. And it seems like there's no consequence for it. Deception is a perverted perception of something. It may not necessarily be, hey, this is the Bible and it's all wrong. It's to twist the scripture like Satan did against Jesus when Jesus was in the wilderness. So here's some things that I close with today to tell you that Satan wants you to think that there is no limitations on him. But I've got news for you. His power and his ability is limited by the Almighty God. Secondly, Satan uh, is on a time limit. In other words, the Bible says that he even knows that his time is short. That's the reason why you're seeing evil unprecedented. And even in the imaginations of men, there is evil continually, the Bible says. But I want you to know this. The battle will not go on forever. Every attack is on God's time schedule and God's timetable. And your reaction to that attack against your life will either add to or take away from the length of that particular attack. Listen, you can't outthink the enemy, but you can't outtalk him according to Jesus. And when you quote the Word of God, when you speak the truth of God's Word, it keeps you from a deluded mind and deception. I want to encourage you today, my friends, with all my heart. Stay true to the Word of God. Stay close to the Word of God. Read it every day. Hide it in your heart. And let truth prevail inside of your life. Thank you for joining me for this Prophecy File Brief. I want you to make sure that you're joining us for the upcoming Prophecy File Conference right here at Pace Assembly. And here's more information about it. Hello, this is Pastor Joey Rogers, and I want to give you a special invitation to join me for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference. This Bible Prophecy Conference is going to be filled with information concerning the end times and how you can be prepared for the imminent return of Jesus Christ. This year, I'll welcome my special guest, Jeff Kenley, Pastor Shane Warren, William Federer, and keynote speaker, Pastor John Hagee. I want you to join me for this year's Prophecy Files Conference. Registration is available online at paceassembly.org and lunch will be provided for a cost of $10. We look forward to seeing you right here at Pace Assembly on September the 16th and 17th for this year's Prophecy Files Conference.